हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैड डिस्कस्ड विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सिंड्रोम कैलकुलेशन सर्किट एंड सम प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू दैट अलोंग विद द एनकोडर सर्किट so those who have not seen that video please go and watch it it is available just previous to this video in this playlist itself so in this video we are going to be discussing with the concepts of cyclic codes okay so this is one more kind of coding technique under uh, error control coding which is a very essential technique and compared to all other code coding techniques this is a bit complicated but because uh, there are some set of rules which you need to be following under modulo 2 algebra for this cyclic codes because these codes are written in terms of polynomials okay so that's why uh, in order to represent this you need to be knowing some of the modulo 2 algebraic methods and if you understood that easily you could be representing these cyclic codes and uh, find uh, solving the problems okay so i'm going to be discussing all of them in the upcoming two videos of cyclic codes so please don't skip these two videos it is very important okay so let us see the basics of the cyclic codes now a linear block code is said to be a is said to be cycle or cyclic if it satisfies the two main properties that is one is linearity property and cyclic property cyclic property is the loop property in the cycle it should be repeated okay linearity is the adjacent coefficient property which is common for all the variables okay so that is for linearity and cyclic property next is modulo 2 addition so what do you mean by modulo 2 in the pre till now in the videos i have already told you what do you mean by modulo 2 addition modulo 2 addition of two code words is a valid code word and a lateral shift of any code word is also a code word okay so this is one property of cyclic code in general code vector for n tuples the cyclic code in general it is given by v vector okay so this is representing the cyclic code v and that is given by v0 v1 v2 up to vn minus 1 here if v belongs to the code word then v of 1 or v to the power 1 is a code vector okay obtained by shifting v to rhs by one position okay so that's why it is called as a code vector when it is obtained by shifting the values of v to the rhs by one single position that is it is given by you see here v of 1 is given by v n minus 1 because this v not is getting shifted to next place so that's why the previous value would be kept here v n minus 1 v not v1 up to v n minus 1 here again v n minus 2 uh, this is v n minus 2 okay so v n minus 2 v n minus 1 v not v1 up to v n minus 3 because this previous value would be coming here in the next sequence and it goes on okay it goes on up to v n minus i comma v n minus i plus 1 up to v not up to v n minus i minus 1 okay so in this way the code vectors for uh, cyclic codes are generated this property of cyclic codes allow us to treat each element of the ve code vector as a polynomial of degree n minus k okay so now the above equation can be written in polynomial form as this that is v of x that is polynomial in terms of variable x so v of x in polynomial form you see here it is written as v not plus x into v1 plus x square into v2 and it goes on up to x to the power n minus 1 into v of n minus 1 okay so here the coefficient vectors are the cyclic vectors that is v not v1 v2 with respect to the coefficients of this polynomial it is written okay so in this way generally a cyclic vector or v of x is defined as where v not v1 and v v n minus 1 belong to the binary field bits binary field bits means it, it would be either 0 or 1 okay those are the code words okay yeah now v1 of x is defined by v n minus 1 that is for these vectors here whatever we have written that is defined by you see here v1 of x is equal to v n minus 1 plus x v not plus x square v1 and it goes on okay so in general it is given by v i of x is equal to v of n minus i plus x into v of n minus i plus 1 and it goes on up to x of n minus 1 v of n minus i minus 1 okay this is the basic representation of cyclic polynomials okay so please notice down this is very important now let us see with some of the operations which you need to be knowing in order to solve some of the problems related to cyclic codes of modulo 2 algebra okay for polynomial equations it is it is specified for polynomial equations modulo 2 algebra for polynomial equations so there are basically 
थ्री ऑपरेशन वन इज एडिशन ऑपरेशन मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑपरेशन एंड डिविजन ऑपरेशन द डिविजन ऑपरेशन इज अट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बट इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड इट इजिली यू कुड बी सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम ओके मॉड्यूलो टू आलजीब्रा फॉर पॉलिनोमियल इक्वेशन सो द फर्स्ट ऑपरेशन इज एडिशन ऑपरेशन आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू वॉट यू मीन बाई दिस अगेन वंस अगेन आई टेल यू इट इज ऑल्सो करस्पॉन्डिंग टू द एक्सॉर ऑपरेशन एडिशन ऑपरेशन विद वन एक्साम्पल दैट इज एक्स प्लस एक्स लेट is equal to zero. The resultant would be zero because these two are the same values, so the same values are getting cancelled out. That is, you see here, x is common. You take it outside. X into one plus one. We know that if you do the XOR operation, one one, the answer resultant would be zero. Also for modulo two, also it is the same thing. One plus one is zero. So x into zero, we would be getting zero. So therefore, x plus x x is equal to zero. It is represented by plus sign or sign with the circle. Okay, it is one and the same. So this is addition operation. Next is multiplication operation. Multiplication is is a direct multiplication. Okay, here for multiplication the powers are added. Okay, as uh, according to the identity, there is no change in uh, normal and uh, modulo two multiplication. It is one and the same. Okay, so you see here they have given two ex uh, two values of uh, f of x that is f one of x and f two of x. If you multiply these two, that is one plus x into one plus x plus x cube. Do the standard multiplication. Multiply this whole term by one. You will be getting one plus x plus x cube. Plus multiply this whole term by x. That is, x plus x square plus x to the power four. So here x and x would be getting cancelled. Why? Because these two are repeating twice. So according to modulo two addition rule, these two would be cancelling out, and the rest of the terms, according to the lower order to higher higher order degree, you should be writing it. Okay. So one plus x square plus x cube plus x to the power four. Okay. So this was our multiplication. Now comes the difficult part, yet tricky part that is called as division operation. Okay, so modulo two division operation is a bit different from the synthetic division method which you know. It looks the same, but there are some changes which you need to be following. Okay, so there are only slight changes. I'll tell you with one example. So here they have given two functions f two of x and f one of x. F two of x is given by x six x to the power six plus x to the power five plus x power two, and f one of x is given by x cube plus x plus one. You should be doing this division operation using modulo two. So here now write this part in the in here divisor part. You should be writing in the higher order degree. Okay, you should not be writing in the reverse manner. Okay, you keep that in mind. So here you write x six plus x five plus x two, and here you write x cube plus x plus one. Okay, now according to the synthetic division only, you do the same thing. First step remains the same. Here we are have x to the power six, and here we have x cube. So if you want to Be getting the answer x to the power six. You should be multiplying this term by x cube, right? So so that you would be getting x to the power six here. So that the first terms would be getting cancelled out, and the rest of the terms are given calculated by mult, uh, x cube by multiplying to the other terms of this uh, divisor or, or dividend. Okay, that is x cube into x. That is x to the power four, and x cube into one. That is x cube. Okay, like this you do one stage here x six and x six gets cancelled out here. In the normal division, the signs would be changed, right? But here, in case of modulo two, it is not the case here, because the like terms are directly getting cancelled out. There is no sign change, and here you see here these four terms are remaining, right? Here also you can whatever the four terms are uh, 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 added terms which are remaining, that only you write it here again, right? Okay, you see here the remaining terms are. X five, X four, X X to the power three, X to the power two, right? Here there are no any recurring terms because in, uh, all the degrees are different. So starting from the highest degree, write all the terms again in this second phase. That is X X power five plus X power four plus X cube plus X square. Now again X power five is there. Here X cube is there. In order to get X power five, you should be multiplying it with X square. So X X cube into X square is X to the power five. And x square into x is x cube. X square into one is x square. Now again, x power five gets cancelled, and here some of the terms gets cancelled because we are having x cube repeated twice, x square repeated twice. Okay, so now we are left only with x four. Write that in the next stage, and we know that in order to get x four as our answer, we should be multiplying x cube by x. Right? So x cube into x is x four. X into x is x square. X into one is x. So here, if you solve it again, x four x four gets cancelled. We are left with x square plus x in our remainder side, and that is called as remainder polynomial. Okay, whatever is what we have, we get in this divided modulo two division operation at the remainder side, that is called as 
remainder polynomial okay it is given by r of x so in this way the division operation is done hope it is clear so please uh, note it down now let us see some of the properties of cyclic codes so some of the properties let us see it now you see here for an n n comma k cyclic code there exists a generator polynomial g of x and that g of x is given by g of x is equal to g naught plus x g1 plus x square g2 it gets incremented by the degree up to x to the power n minus k g to the g of n minus k so in this way the generator polynomial for a cyclic code is given okay yeah also the code vector code vector for a systematic cyclic code you should be knowing one thing the cyclic codes are divided into two systematic format one is systematic code and non systematic code and uh, one problem related the, related to that i'll discuss here with respect to systematic versus non systematic cyclic codes okay so what do you mean by systematic and non systematic codes i'll let you know so for that instance v of x is given by g of x into d of x okay for systematic cyclic code here d of x is the message vector polynomial and again it is given by d not plus x d1 the same order which is how it is given for g of x the same way it is given for d of x also where the d not d1 d2 are the message vectors here g not g1 g2 are the generator vectors okay this method generates a non systematic cyclic codes that is uh, with respect to the polynomials we get right those generates the non systematic cyclic codes to generate a systematic cyclic codes the remainder polynomial r of x is obtained from division okay so the remainder polynomial in or for the which is required for uh, calculating the code in the systematic way the r of x is given by x of n minus n minus k into d of k divided by g of x okay so in systematic cyclic code g of x is equal to r of x into dx the coefficients of r of x are placed at the beginning of the code code vector followed by the coefficients of d of x okay in order to calculate the total cyclic code it is a uh, of the it is like this solely generator matrix how it is written first the identity matrix then the parity right in the same way the final code vector code polynomial is written by writing first the uh, r of x uh, whatever the answer we get and r of x code and uh, after that you should be writing the coefficients of d of x code in this way the general code polynomial under cyclic code is represented okay so these are the some sets of properties of cyclic codes which you need to be knowing so please note this down so here is one example of whatever i have told till now with respect to cyclic codes uh, that is uh, solving this problem using both systematic and non systematic form of cyclic codes okay so this is one this one problem is again very important there are high chances that they might be asking this problem so please uh, i'll mark it as very important listen to this very carefully okay so this is a question given for a 7,4 cyclic code the generator polynomial is given by g of x g of x is given by 1 plus x plus x cube okay so this is in the form of polynomial you could be seeing find the code word for the messages 1001 and 1110 so they have given two sets of messages for these two sets of messages you should be representing them both in systematic as well as non systematic form okay so how to start this problem you see here given n comma k that is 7 comma 4 right g of x polynomial that is 1 plus x plus x cube and uh, messages they have given it as 1001 and 1110 so this can be represented in polynomial in standard form which you have seen just now that is 1001 so 1 that is 1 into x to the power 0 we know that x to anything to the power 0 is 1 so that's why only 1 remains plus 0 into x to the power 1 Plus zero into x to the power two plus one into x to the power three. So here it is multiplied by zero. So these two terms are not there. So that's why our answer is one plus x cube here. Okay. Similarly here also one 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 zero. That is one plus x plus x square plus zero into x cube. Since zero is not there, so that's why it is one plus x plus x square. So like this, the polynomials are written for message bits. Now non-systematic form. First, let us try to solve this in non-systematic form. non systematic form it is given by for the first message that is 1001 d of x is equal to 1 plus x cube as mentioned and uh, v of x that is a code vector is calculated as d of x into g of x right d of x is equal to 1 plus x cube 
and g of x is equal to 1 plus x plus x cube. You should be doing the direct multiplication that is modulo 2 multiplication direct multiplication. So we should be multiplying 1 to this term that is it remains the same 1 plus x plus x cube x cube to this whole term that is x cube plus x to the power 4 plus x to the power 6 x cube x cube gets cancelled out because same terms are according to modulo 2 addition so the left out terms from a lower order to higher order degree you write it that is 1 plus x plus x to the power 4 plus x to the power 6 so now this you represent in terms of vector that is 1 x to the power 1 the coefficient is 1 x to the power 2, 3 is not there, so that's why it is 0, 0, 2 times 0 is there. Then x to the power 4, 1, x to the power 5, uh, it is not there, so it is 0, x to the power 6. So totally 7 bits code vector we have got for this message, okay? Yeah. Now, for the second message, 1, 1, 1, 0, again do the same thing. Here in this case, d of x is equal to 1 plus x plus x square. v of x is equal to d of x plus g of x. That is 1 plus x plus x square into 1 plus x plus x cube. Do the standard multiplication. That is uh, 1 plus x plus x cube plus x plus x square plus x to the power 4 plus x square plus x cube plus x to the power 5. So here x term uh, x gets cancelled, it repeated twice. x cube gets cancelled, it repeated twice. x square gets cancelled, it repeated twice. So we are left with 1 plus x to the power 4 plus x to the power 5. That is in terms of bits, it is given by 1. x power uh, 1, 2, 3, it is not there. So 0, 0, 0, x to the power 4, x to the power 5 and x to the power 6 is not there. So 0. So this is the 7 bit code vector in non-systematic form. Remember that in both the forms systematic as well as non-systematic, the answers vary for code vectors. Okay, it won't remain the same because the methods are different. Okay, so now in systematic form, you should be following the procedure of modulo 2 division, whatever we have discussed. Okay, in this video previously that you need to be following under systematic form that is for the first message 1001 r of x is given by in general formula as we have discussed that is x to the power n minus k d of x divided by g of x that is 7 minus 4 that is 3 so x cube d of x for the first case is 1 plus x cube divided by g of x is 1 plus x plus x cube so multiply this you would be getting x cube plus x to the power 6 so this term According to the higher degree, you should be writing here. So that's why this term comes first, then x cube. And here also x cube comes first, then x, then 1. Okay. Then follow the division here. x cube, x to the power 6. So x cube we need to multiply. So that x power 6 gets cancelled. x cube multiply with x and 1. You would be getting x power 4, x cube into 1, x cube. So here, this is already cancelled. x cube term also gets cancelled. We are remaining only with x to the power 4. So x cube and x to the power 4 you should be multiplying x in order to get x to the power 4 so x cube into x is x to the power 4 and x into x is x square x into 1 is x so x power 4 gets cancelled and our uh, remainder bit is r of x remainder polynomial is x square plus x that is you should be writing it as x plus x square so first bit uh, x to the power 0 is not there so it is 0 plus uh, x plus x square so 1 1 so our remainder polynomial in terms of bits it is 0 1 1 and we in systematic form we've told you the total code vector is given by writing first the remainder and the message okay in totally 7 bits so 0 1 1 com uh, combined by 1 0 0 1 so this is for 1 0 0 1 similarly for uh, 1 1 1 0 also this is the procedure here so I will not dictate it. So just please pause the video and refer it. Okay. So just uh, this is for your analysis because uh, the same thing I have done it again. Okay. Pause the video and refer it and just go through it. So yeah, that's all for this video guys. We have discussed uh, concepts related to cyclic codes in this video. In the next video, we will discuss with the how the generator polynomial is formed with respect to cyclic codes. Okay. So we will see that in the next video. That's all guys. Thank you.